Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official, lovely Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you Hey, know. what's going on? Not... Hey, man, we got a special guest today, man. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't need no introduction, man. When it come to Dallas and what we do, it's the only way we make it through, man. Mm -hmm. Say, man, my boy Don Chief is in the house, man. Sachi, Sachi, thanks, man. man. Thanks for y'all welcoming. Man, you the you the one made me start wearing a lot of Sachi, man. That same when you sent that back to me in a text, I said this the one that had me out there over at North Park acting acting real bad. Man, I'm glad you saying it because a lot of these boys don't need to follow. The, they don't follow the suit. Too. Oh no, no, no! I, I gotta show homage, man. That's the whole reason why we when we did this, we couldn't we couldn't even do the show and be where we at and not bring the ones who. Who are pinnacles in the city through Thanks. so you know we just we basically we knew that you know if we gonna do this we got to do it all the way right and so that's what we've been doing we've been marching the ones through who really really mm -hmm. who really made us who we are right and right. that's that's you guys so just appreciate it. i always say that to everybody the ones who really you know that done the work you know put that work in man so being from i say west dallas man that's where i first heard you from right, right and i was like man you know, my cousin, I, and I hate to say this because everybody always said, well, you might not know him, Charles Rambo and all them for my cousins, man. No, I know. So, I know. yeah, he like died. Everybody in, from over there know. I know it, but Junior used to come here before he died. Junior Junior uh, uh, Rambo, yeah. the dad, the old yeah. man. Okay. He would come here and check on me and everything, man. Then last time I seen him was at Miami funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. All, I mean, a you know lot the family. Of them, yeah, there's a lot of them, yeah. you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's that's my. My people, hey, shout out Charles down there in the hometown. He at home now. Show you right. Show yeah, you yeah, right. yeah, man. But that's how I, when I and when I would go to Bobby's, man, back in the day, and and the, and the club get to jumping. Dig it. Hey, man, where Dallas was in that thing, man, deep boy. Yeah, you, what yeah. did you ever go over there? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> you like I can't be in there. Well, yeah, you might have been. Well, you younger than me, so you I'm might. Very younger than you. Man. You young, so you couldn't. You we might. We didn't. We didn't have you over there. Mm -mm, mm -mm, You're... <laughs> mm -mm. Nah, nah. I wasn't going no Jew joint. <laughs> That's what it was, nah, man. I wasn't going no Jew joint, man. <laughs> so, so uh, the music, man. How do you how do you keep it consistent all these years, bro? I mean, it's really just a part of me. So my music is just my Bible, my therapy, you know. So long as I'm living, I'm gonna keep it consistent. You know, bro, come. and it be stepping. Like it ain't no, it ain't no. You don't miss, bro. You know, I I got a couple of people that I put in a, a whole nother level when it come to lyrics, right. like Scarface. You got that same vibe where you don't make no bad, ain't no bad songs coming from all the way to me, all the way back to. All the stuff I ever heard, hold your tongue, all that stuff, it was solid. Right, right. Appreciate Consistent. It. Nah, but look where I come from. You know, I come from that jungle. You know, my my terrain, I had to, you know, have some substance. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that's what you get with me. You just get substance. You get a person who done lived a little bit, who done yeah. saw some things. Yeah, know? and it was consistent. Cap of the Bomb had kept me something, man. Every time I go through it, it was something. Facts. It was like, I don't, you know, I got to get him on this show. Now, now, like, he got to be, you know, yeah. because, you know, it's a lot of people that, you know, there's pioneers that help, you know, the uh, the city get to where it's at, yeah. that help build the 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 culture yeah. that, that, that need to be, you know, talked to, you know, Diamond, Cap, you yeah. know, all the, That's all, my the guy. all the uh, mom and pops. Yeah, 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 yeah. You even got to go to Funky Town, get Greg and, yeah. and Munchie Wayne. I mean, Rex shop me and like, they all play they the all part. They all play the part. And it's going. And it's like a lot of people overlook because they don't get caught up in the, you know, the new thing. Yeah. But, you know, if it wasn't for the foundation, you wouldn't have nothing wouldn't, to build on. That's so true. And I think that's why we, I think that's why we're going to win because we do it like that. That's what we're looking for. The visual guys, like uh, we had, what, who was that? Um, Cam um, God and Ovid, Ovid Medium, Ovid. the people who nobody don't even look at. You know what I mean? We bring, bring them to the front. Even Prophecy, when I had mm -hmm. him on here, nobody ever interviewed him. I bring the people that I think get overlooked. Right. And then I bring the patriarchs. And I think that's where it's at. 
Nah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's real good. Yeah, and that's that's how we roll. So you I've know? always heard about um, West Dallas, and everybody always make it sound like it's so, so bad. She's even Jamaica, um, she don't know. <laughs> yeah, just like Oak Cliff. They talk about Oak Cliff like, oh, it's, it, it's a bad area. But you being from those areas, um, what's the worst thing you've ever seen that you're like, that really like devastated you or what made an impact on you? I mean, you know, it's bad. You know, it, I mean, it wasn't, it's the ghetto. So you from Jamaica, so it's just like <laughs> you. We might we heard things about Jamaica. Exactly. You know, right. like yeah, they be tripping and shit. So there was nothing that yeah. just like stood out in your mind, like that that one instant just happened, and it's something you did not expect. I mean, coming from at that time, it really you know when you. I mean, only thing you just didn't expect was you know at, when you're younger is just a seeing another young young cat like yourself be killed or die you know yeah. you know that's the only thing you expect but when you coming from that 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 mud it's like you're immune to a lot of things you kind of nonchalant to a lot of things that really should get your attention mm -hmm. so uh now i mean it was just our way of living so mm -hmm. it so what it did it just built character it 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 uh it 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 gave me morals respect it gave me it gave me you know substance like i said so now nah, it didn't it didn't really you know deter me from anything i jumped out there even when i saw it mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah hey, yeah, yeah did you put a lot of it in your music like when you saw so, because you wrote your own music yes yes and yeah, yes so a lot of your music that you did it's what happened around you facts facts i mean it's all you know experiences mm -hmm. either minor experiences that's Somebody just been else. around so your first rap song that you did, um, was it your mom who inspired you to do that one? Yeah, yeah. In a sense, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a mama's boy. So you know, <laughs> shoot, I, I wrote a, 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 a Valentine's uh, poem, and you know, up. it just rhymed, and you know, she kept it. And that was. Do you it. remember it? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't remember that. One. I don't remember that. One. I don't yeah, remember of course that one. not. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Uh Oh, that's sweet though. Yeah, I knew you was gonna ask that question. I let you have that because you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was that, was, like that. that was it. That was it. So you know, it's because mamas. You know, I have a mama's boy at home, and um, the older one always tease him that yeah, he's he a mama's there, boy. He, he a mama's but boy too. But it's yeah. something about boys and their moms because, like my daughter, she's so independent and so you know she's not emotional where it comes. Let's get that to, from me. Yeah, but a boy, he'll come. If I'm not feeling well, he'll come to my door. Mama, you okay? You need some? Is there that something about spoiled. a boy that they just do See, for See, okay, moms? my my mama went. So my mama got two boys. So she roared in the cocaine. So she's a uh, you know, and she's an earth sign. So she wasn't no. It wasn't no baby now it was more she still she still she was very strong her aura she didn't right. it wasn't no we, she's not the the feminine type yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah yeah she's yeah. not she's a strong and stern oh yeah you know so you know i can i can soul and go be you know <laughs> what we need to do mom yeah 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 that's the way it is are you the youngest yeah yeah i got a big brother Oh, okay. Yeah. I know that. I mean, being from the country, because it ain't where you're from, is it's really where you're at. And and I remember when I always tell you about when my dad shot at my mom, and I was four, and my uncle, my daddy got shot in the same place in the head where my uncle got killed in, and my other uncle burnt it up. You know, what I'm saying it was a gambling shack mm. down in East, down there right right up from where Charles living right now, right. and uh, just country boys, man. So when you see certain things growing up. And then when I came out here and I seen that, and it's like the same way we had it, but just a bigger way when I seen West Dallas and South Dallas and Oklahoma. Like, oh, the same thing we were doing down there, just it's just a, more of it. You know yeah, what I'm I, saying? And I, never, and I was never exposed to anything like that personally. I just hear, being in Jamaica, I heard of different things that happen in certain areas. So I, I was aware of certain things, but I've never experienced it. So when you would tell me certain stories, yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. My uncle come wow. home and get the gun. I know what he going to do. I right. was a young boy. I know what he for to go back down and act bad. He shot a dude that had whooped him, and, and pretty much he limped the rest of his life. I watched him limp. Mm -hmm. But my uncle got killed right after that. One got shot in the head. So when you see these type of things happen, then I came out here. I was over off Malcolm X. I see a nigga. I walk in coming from Bobby's. I had my necklace on and money in my pocket. 
But the other dude that came out, I don't know if, if it was just the luck of the draw, got shot in the head right there mm. and robbed right there. But I walked in and he walked out and he got shot. Like I seen the two dudes. I'm watching. I'm a street cat, so I'm watching the side of the building. I'm like, dang, man, when it happened, it it just like, I mean, we left, but it was, it's like you out, it's late, you don't ain't tripping. Right. It's sad that you think like that once you've seen so many times right. death like that. Right. Right. Like my uncle, I found him dead. Like, I can keep going. I We shot at people. I don't know if we killed them, but we heard some people got killed. Right. When you're young, you know what I mean? And that's just the way life is. But what I'm hearing from all of this is the fact that you don't have to be a product of your own environment. Just because you see certain things and you're around certain things when you were younger, that don't mean you have to grow up and be. No, you evolve. Right. And that's what I want our listeners to know is that don't always think that you have to be like the person that you're around that um, may be influencing you in a, in a, in a bad way. Mm. You can evolve from that and become, you know, better than that. That's what's up. I mean, you know, like yes, I said, these, these microphones, to be honest with you, like, like he said earlier, you know, it's really therapy, therapeutic, people listening. And, and I think that's something that I hone me in on every time. Like, I know that it could help somebody what we say, you know? Right, right, right. Because right. they listening at your music. I listen at your music. Like I said, consistently, because your music, you can put in and ride to it, and you ain't got to cut it off. You can yeah, ride yeah, to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you ain't got to skip through to try to yeah. find a good song. Nah, nah, nah. Now, nah, I'm being cool. real, bro. I know because I love music, you know what I mean? And that's, you know, even more so. Don't get me wrong. I like the Pook and Lucha thing. I, I wrote to it, but then as you evolved, it was some the street thing. It educated you, yeah. and it and it and it mel it made you move a certain way. You know, I, I heard about you over there with the Bentley and in the in the, in the uh, in the projects, yeah, I, I would hear about things like that, and I'd be hustling. I had my things going back in the day, you know. So it'd be like, okay, yeah, you know, a nigga can get real, be real, and keep it one hundred, and right. still getting getting paper, you know. Right, 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 right. You know, right. so so that's real talk. You nah, know what I'm saying? Nah, man. You know, at the end of the day, I come from the era where you had to be who you said you are. Mm. I mean, you older than me. You oh know yeah, what? for like, sure. At the end of the day, you got to check out. Yeah, and you know, I mean. Me, I just come from that 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 bread. Well, Dallas, we some just everything that come we we very unique. Oh, for sure. You know, like like and you know, shoot, I knew it was kind of a battle for me anyway, because West Dallas I always kind of been shunned upon. You know, we the smallest, you know, but yet the rawest. The rawest. Mm -hmm. You know, and and everybody always had a you know, a certain uh Look of uh, of how they thought West Dallas was because of the cats from the penitentiary, just, uh, boys that just was before us or before me, and y'all ain't that was already put the stump down, and mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. people the story just had been told. So when I came about, it was more or less like, you know, I watched everything before me, even my brother, you know, and and people that I did that I that I grew up with, and I was just like, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a stick out like that thumb, yeah. So I just went against the grain with everything. I didn't claim no gangs. I wanted, you know, I was more just like, it's on me, you know. You mm -hmm. know, I was in the sixth grade. I cut my hair bald head in the fifth, and I said, I'm going to go to the side. Wow. That's you know, good. like, you know, I, so it was more or less like, you know, it, it it was just, it was just, just, it was just that, that upbringing just had to be, you know, want to be, want to be something. You know, I wanted to be some at early age because I always looked up to things that was great. Michael Jackson, yeah, Michael Tom. Jordan, you know, and yeah. at, that, at that age, you know, they was, you know, TV and stuff and all that was just, you know, sport. It was just being, they were just blowing up black people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So they was really giving us a then DOC, you know, he was right Mr. up, Tab right, right down two, three, four houses, right up the, the field. And we seeing. That ain't a cab that, you know, his little, his partner be chest boxing with me and my brother and hitting me in the stomach. But we watching his cousin on on on, mm. on the box. On the box, right. for sure. So that was... That's motivation. Motivation just from West Dallas people. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. We yeah. looking at, like, man, we seeing one of our was out here. So, you know, it was just... Uh, it was just something that stuck with me. I mm -hmm. couldn't speak for nobody else. No, no, that's me, good. That's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I took it and I was like, shoot, I want to be that cat. No, no, that's be, real. I want to be one of them guys. Yeah. I, I was, hear you. Oh, go sorry. ahead. No, go ahead. Um, I hear you mentioned about your mom, but did you have your father in your life? N nah, nah. He, he, you know, he got caught up living his life and he was locked up. But his mother and his little sister did what 
he should have did, but I knew he was, but now nah, he, he don't know his son. Oh, That's did you true. have a father figure, like a male figure that yeah, you yeah, looked yeah. up so to? Yeah, 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 so that was, nah, I didn't look up to no male figure in a sense like that, but I had a male figure around, okay. you know, but but we, we did things, and we had boys club, so I was in the sport, so you I always had a male figure around that was teaching and you know, showing authority to somebody who we had to respect. So with that being said, it just, you know, that built character in itself for us, you know, having respect for another man or a person who older than you. you See, that's the reason why I asked that question because I've met so many women who would say, I'm mother and father to this boy. And I I don't believe that. I always believe that you need a man to teach you how to be a man. A woman can't teach a a boy. Right, so... That's why I was asking, did you have a male figure? Because to turn out manly, you need a male Man, figure. Man, you know, we, you know, sometimes you just got to be the example. As, as us being men, who, uh, who those who ain't never had no father uh, around, you just kind of have to goddamn me be an example and learn how to, you be know, man. be a man, mm-hmm. you know, and, and shoes. So that just become a natural reflex. You know, everybody walking around with no daddy, so it's just like we just out here trying to learn how to be young men turning into grown men. It is mm. it's, it's such a dysfunction in, in our uh, culture, culture sometimes. And the reason I say that, because even though you say you don't have a dad, but say you do have a dad, and, and the mom and dad fighting every week and, 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 and arguing, and then they get a divorce, ripped out apart. Now they arguing about who going to keep the kid. Mm-hmm. And then it, this is a whole nother level of, Fact. okay, we tripping over here the same way they tripping because the, the, the disconnect is there, but now it's toxic. So it can go either way, and I think a lot of it go because of who we are and where we come from a lot right. of times right. because of the play, the the – because of the oppression a lot of time that that have been placed in our ancestors. I Thanks. really think that that takes a toll now to this day. That was not anything pretty much done to for us to say, okay, uh, we, we're going to get some therapy on, on the fact of what happened and, and, and you know, all the, the things that every other culture gets, you know, the, the, the help, the helping hand, we don't get it. People come to this country now and they still get, Matter of fact, you want to, no, this is my wife. <laughs> like they, they treat every, if you go to a job, they treat, and I, I, I work, you know, they treat even the, the people from the islands or anybody better than a brother, a American black man. If you, uh, the white guy or whoever's over the top, you as a white guy, it, it, he not going to look at, he going to put that black guy at the lowest he can. It wasn't, it wasn't designed for us. That's now. right. You know, like, and that's one thing that I've come to grips with. Yeah. yeah. I'm not finna be out here with them people fighting. No. All that marching and all that bullshit. I'm not either. Because you got to accept that they'll never look at us as equal. It don't make sense to do it. They are ne- Why would they? Now, don't I, get you, me wrong. Don't get me wrong. They kids done started, you know, doing a loving, little better. Loving, up, uh, loving on colored folk, you know. <laughs> so, you know, but, 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 but. They, they grandpas so and they, they still, they ain't, you know, so it, it probably won't change until like we, you know, some generations That's on right. down. You, you, know, you exactly were, right. They so far ahead of how they done segregated just the black people, the American black people anyway. I mean, so me, I don't really get caught up into the shenanigans. I'm just like, hey, what I tell you, my people and everybody I'm with, we have to learn their game. Exactly. And learn how to play their game. Well. And when we learn how to play their game, we'll maintain it. And we just got to teach our people how to be good at the game that they playing. Because we too busy. The game we play, it costs us time, mm-hmm. life, mm-hmm. you know, this and that. So we got to learn how to play their game and, and, sh- and feed it to all ours. That's the only way we go catch the up. Way. And, and over here in America. So it's like until we get that, we'll never goddamn me catch up. And we'll never get that because... You know, it was like this. You had the house nigga in the, in the field. Yeah, nigga. ain't no reparations. You can forget you, about you all that. You had the southern nigga and the northern nigga. They'll never think the same. We don't. And that's something that happens a lot. I, that was another reason I started this platform, because I felt like the people on the East Coast never will give us our just never. due. And when I put this together, when I think about Breakfast Club and all those people mm-hmm. swaying, all that, they'll never understand what we got going never. in the South. Never. So we have to, we have to do it for ourselves. 
And we got talent down here like yourself and other people that get totally ignored and will never be respected lyrically for the way that they treat others up there. Right. So I will never, ever bow down to that system. I'm a big Pimp C fan, as you already he's, know. He's so I Texas. ain't trying to hear it. Texas, I'm not right. trying to hear it. I love my people. It and ain't that's just a, Texas. It's more or less like uh, the South. The, 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 like, I cut you. We, we go think different than how they think up there because... They ain't have to get it. They they wasn't raised. They upbringing one like out. They thought we. They say we ride horses. Have you seen a horse? Oh, that, they definitely. My cousin thought that in in, in California. They like they got, They don't have sidewalks. So I'm yeah, like, what yeah. the hell wrong with y'all? No, but it's stereotype everywhere. Because before I came here, um, when I was moving here, you know, friends would say, "Oh yeah, you, you're gonna see them cowboys walking around with them cowboy hats, and they don't have cars and all of that." Just like people here are thinking that everybody in Jamaica have dreads and smoke weed. It, it, and it's not like that. Right. It's just a stereotype that people have of different people from different areas. Well, I can tell you right now, I mean, I represent this. You see me when we be going to Cali, Chicago, wherever. I represent Texas hard. And I I, I love my, my people. And I'm going to put it in their face every time. It don't matter if I'm talking, if I'm when we when I met Jazzy Jeff, whoever, nigga, I'm from Texas, man. Right. And it be going down like that. And I'm real fly about it too. You know what I'm saying? For us right. my people right. and, right. and where I'm from. Because if you don't if if you don't respect you, who gonna respect you? Thanks. So you you know already and I never will be one of those guys that I like Jay Z, but I'd never rock to that kind of music. Nah, we we was we I'm just being honest with, with you. I like him. No, we resonated with, with Pac, Pac in the South. I get it, but I'm just saying I hear him now, but I like him, but it ain't going to never be compared to no Pimp C, uh, tell me something good. Nah, never nah. in my life will I make that lie on this platform. Nah. So that, I mean, I'll never be able to do that because of where we at and what I heard. Right, right. See, when I hear you, like I said, I don't know. One thing I always wanted to know is how you pick your beats, man, and how how that process is. Because you be picking the right damn beats on every song, dog. I mean, with that, it's more or less. You know, Pac couldn't pick his beats like right, that. Right, right. See, I'm, I'm, I mean, I go out feeling, so it's like, you know, that's pretty much how I go and pick my production. So, yeah. you know, and, and I'm into soul. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm got, a, I got an older soul, so I like a lot of, you know, things that's kind of musical, you know, mm -hmm. something yeah. that you can feel. I like something that a person go, put it like this, I like it when you can just jam the beat and you just literally just like, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I like that. You know, and you don't even need the word. The words just complement just the icing on the cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, right. You know, with me, I just know what's good for me. Yeah, I do. You know, and you I, rock with it. Yeah, I just know what's good for me. So if I'm your Von Sway, then you go rock my way. Already, man. Like I said, so how, what made you start saying Versace like that? Like when it? <laughs> it I mean, cause you, you, that you, I mean, hey. As Cure them you, volumes, boy. That's it, it was straight consistently Versace. I mean, as you can see, it's just more or less like me just being an entertainer and knowing that I was a trend set of people, you know, they caught on the things that I did. You know, like I mean, even when I was in middle school, you know, I used to walk around with a towel on I always just wanted to stick out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, like now it's cool to be like each other. Me, when we back then, they we was wanting like to be different you know yeah, like yeah, you yeah. want to stick out you want you didn't want to be like you know like the next person so, so people didn't like tease you back then when you know you i mean maybe they did out. yeah they did but but <laughs> it didn't bother you no because okay i knew i was funny looking as a kid but my daddy told me i was pretty boy floyd when i was two or three years old <laughs> that's it. it stuck to my head you couldn't even tell me i was ugly <laughs> it wasn't going but that now we didn't have no connection. But when he did, he you know he called me Pretty Boy Floyd. Every letter he wrote, hey Pretty Boy Floyd, Woo. It's and it's down. like, you know, shit, I'm pretty. You know, my daddy called me pretty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, I like you know, it. And, and it was just something that stuck with me to where, like, you know, I had confidence at an early age. People call it cocky. You know, I know my aura would intimidate a weak person. No, I know when I come in the room, I I treat myself like I'm something. I know I, I like because that. I know I am. You did, and and I knew that at an early age. And it's like you know, if you ain't a person who got that kind of, and just like if you got a little girl and you get and she pretty, everybody every time she pretty, 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 and everybody pick up you keeping her in pictures. You know, like that's gonna give her that confidence. That's gonna world. be all that confidence. So up. it's like I was good at everything. I played quarter. I would chubby and everything, but I'm the quarterback. 
Oh, you played football? I played all the sports. I'm playing no games. We wow. boxing, we swimming, we, you Whatever. know. But I was good at everything. So with that being said, that dad was already confidence. You know, yeah. I can read. I knew how to, when the teacher wanted to ask the kid to read, I can put the words together better. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm helping the other kid. He's stumbling. <laughs> comprehension you know you just i'm it was more or less like you know shoot i wasn't even that that confidence was busting loose at early i didn't know it until as i got older like you know dang i ha- i had this for a while you know i've been this this kind of way for a while because people followed me at a young age you know people you know liked me at a, when i did mm-hmm, things i was mm-hmm. liked you know so it mm-hmm. was like i knew how to get attention and handle it at the same time did do you have any kids I got a little girl. She ten. She ten. Is she like you? She uh, I'm I'm building like that confidence. confidence in her cause she a Leo, so she Ooh, natural. Oh, what's her birthday? Oh, here we July go. 30, oh, July thirty. That's okay. my brother' birthday. Yeah, so she, she, she so we, we Leos. Okay, I'm a Virgo, <laughs> you know, but I'm a double side. But yeah, yeah. So I know she got that line in the center. So uh-huh. yeah, yeah. She yeah yeah. She a natural. Does she rap? She can do it all. She can do it all. Yeah, she can. Do I it bet it you all. she's a daddy's girl. Not, I mean, she you know she got me wrapped around the hand. She, I mean, she know I'm Mine all too. hers. Mine you know, too. She ain't got no competition. It's just her. Oh so yeah, that's what's yeah, up. You know, so it's like that's crazy for yeah, real. It's yeah. Just the only daughter you got, yeah, only kid yeah. you got. Only kid. Yeah, yeah. Him and Puka Rock, Leroy got the same thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my little homie. I know that's it, but he, he got he just got a daughter. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, because I was I always you know music was my girlfriend. Oh so, really. You know, I never gave a honey a chance like that mm-hmm. to even, like, no female ain't even gave me that kind of feeling music gave. Wow. So I That's never heavy. would get, I wouldn't even but you give can a, tell. a chance. Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, but I'm good as gold. I ain't got no, my resume cool. Stainless in the streets with yeah. any little freak. Yeah. But, you know, I never, that wasn't, it wasn't even nothing that I ever thought about even doing. Well, the, um, the times when, um, when, when I would, Definitely, like, like I look back at times on things that happened in the music in your career. Um, when Birdman came down here that time, right? I remember that, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was excited about it, but I really wasn't. Even like when you came back, I was more excited about your music more than came back with it after that. Like the way you dealt with that, you know what I'm saying? For as at first, I was like, is this a situation? Because I heard him at the radio station talking. I, you know, everybody right, hear everything. Right, right. Then when it didn't happen, I was like, oh, well, he said, this dude said one thing, but it didn't happen that way. Because a lot of times people just be talking. I done dealt with stuff like that. Well, I done been out of town talking to different. You've seen me with Steve Madden. You 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 talk to a lot. Me and Boosie. You know, like you talk, it just, you know that it ain't, to authentic. me, it ain't it ain't authentic. It ain't really, we just talking, nigga. Just shooting and, shit. That's it. And and so when I seen when you came back, I'm already cash money. Man, I love that song. So I still listen to that song even before we started interviewing right, you. Right. Cause it's just something of resilience when I think about that, bro. Nah, I mean, and he wasn't, you know, in his conversation, let me know it wasn't nothing, but I wasn't easily impressed by nothing at that time. But I mean, I never really been easily impressed because I got it, I got it good. You know, yeah, I you was already things, doing your thing. You know? yeah. So it's like Nigga, I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. What's happening? Yeah. What you going to do? You know, and once we got face to face and, you know, he let me know. I'm like, I ain't tripping that you shooting the shit, but I'm the wrong one to shoot the shit on. But I tell you Already. what, we ain't going to say nothing about it. You shot the shit. I'm going to goddamn me make it like it's legit. And I'm going to eat off of it. Already. Know it and he respected it because by the time we did get together, somebody had pulled his coattail and was like, Nah, you don't do that with him. Already? Nah, he ain't now one of them little niggas, dog. You can't look home at him. No, at all. You know, and I didn't say nothing. That was my city ran out with that. That ought to show them, like, nah, nigga, he ain't said nothing. That's just the people talking about he signing, congratulating, because the city was more on some, finally, man, I got down me homie finna get his shot, and ooh, it's finna turn up, whoop 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 So it wasn't me. It was him and the motherfucking people. I just like the way you twisted and turned it with that with that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was smooth. But that's how you do it. I already expect I mean, nothing less. It wasn't. It was cool. I wasn't tripping. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, they go out to feel me. I'm. I'm. They go out to feel it regardless. Cause as long as I'm alive and well and out of jail, I'm gonna give them hell. So it's like, 
it's cool, you know. Yeah, we, yeah. If it didn't happen now, we go, we go, we'll, we'll, you know. I'm gonna stay outside. We go bump into each other again. That's the way it be. Like even on on, on us, you know how I am with guests. Be like, cause they don't know me. Nobody don't know me like that. Like a lot of cats, and and they be like, oh yeah, um, oh yeah, um, I'm gonna come, and then some niggas won't. I I've done things like people hugging people. I say, you know what? Every nigga that nigga hug on his Instagram, I'm gonna bring him on the show. If I had to pay that nigga, I'm gonna bring him on the show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when a nigga right. hustler right. like nigga, right. I, I got it. I'm not right. one of those niggas that ain't got it. I got it. I just decided to do something, nigga. But at the end of the day, I still show respect to him, and I say, you know what? One day we'll meet again. You know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> I, I like to hustle, facts. man. Nah, facts. It, and I mean, that's the only way I got. It. I hustle for it. Nobody yeah. didn't give me nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, so. See, you a hustler, so you respect. You gotta understand a lot of these people in position ain't hustlers. Exactly. So they don't get a nigga like me. No, not at so all. So when I'm coming with my vibe and my energy, it's a little bit too much for them because they ain't no hustlers. It was given to them now in the way that it was given to them. You know, and everything is a hustle. You know, now that's so true. Is a hustle, but every time m- my hustle made me a different kind of character. You know, it 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 forced me to have to be a certain kind of way. Yeah, you know, and, and and if a person out of hustler, they won't they won't understand that, and, and everything people don't understand, they don't like. One hundred, one hundred percent, man. That's that's good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people get intimidated real easy too, and they scared you're gonna take their. Place. Nah, they didn't understand me back then. You know, yeah. they were like, "Man, how he from where's that?" They like, I didn't know how much. Like, no, nah, that would play the big part, man. That nigga from where Dallas, man. We ain't finna <laughs> let that nigga goddamn me be the face of the city. Nah, I agree. we ain't finna let him be the face. Look at him. He all, he look. He got all this. We can't let him do nothing like that. So it was more like, we'll let the row, we'll let mm. DSR, we'll let check out Malene, we'll let Ricky Bobby, we'll let all them. But nah, we can't let that that big chief cat because he got the streets. And you gotta understand, back then we was the boogie era. So I'm faulted for being a little bit ahead of my time, and that doesn't happen to a lot of legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm one of those who just had to be caught up in the twist of it. But what's good about me is that I started at an early age, and I've aged like fine wine, and it, it done came back around on me. Full circle. Like, by default, because, you know, them youngsters is the one who, you know, kind of took the torch and took it from the boogie, music, boogie movement to now. You know, re- may he rest in peace, but... His death brought us onto some street shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now the world look at Dallas Fort Worth as a street city, and at the end of the day, in hip hop, you got to be certified by the streets before you can ever eat. Already, that's true. We were not never certified. Yellow, they, that now mm-hmm. little homie Death certified us, even though you know, however it came about, it gave us the stripes in the industry entertainment for us. You know, now they for real. Yeah. Dallas Fort Worth for real. Everybody been knowing we for real, but the faces all been friendlier. You yeah. know, it's been more boogie music, you know. Yeah. You, now nah, it ain't never been no raw person, you know. Now it's a raw person, but the cold part about it, he the face, he ain't even here to talk about it no more. So he But ain't that how it happened yeah. sometimes? Like Nipsey, look how much shit love they showed him afterwards. No, nah, but LA already They used to that, him. yeah. Nah, we talking about Dallas Fort Dallas Worth. We, not, we wasn't we wasn't Solidified. embraced to the world as that 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 city like nah them boys nah they them cat they they just looked at us they didn't respect the artists or the the grind here now they respect it and it is crazy that it took some gangster shit to go down for them to be like they real down there yeah you know, they got some real live street shit going down there not saying that the streets is what is is it just gotta be it gotta be stamped? Yeah, yeah. Before the, before any city can jump. Yeah, yeah. You know, if the streets don't call, if you ain't got the street resume, the culture of the streets ain't talk show to the world. Nobody, the world go look at you just as they look at you. So, do you feel like uh, with this being with that being said, it's a it's a it's a spot where we can uh, basically now you'll start seeing artists develop faster and we more. We at the and, table. Yeah. No, they picking, boy, you better not get hot down here. They go come and get you quick. They got to get you. Oh, they go try to come mm-hmm. get you. And because now we got the attention. We got local, we got championship. Body. You got to understand in 06, 07, 08, 9, 10, 11, 12, I didn't have no pro football. Mm. My Cowboys was sorry. The Mavericks <laughs> was sorry. 
We just we, had we just, we just about had about, we talked about this yesterday I with uh what's his name? Jock Taylor. Jock Taylor was here yesterday. You you know Jock? No, but I didn't have <laughs> no other I didn't have no other live young urban you know, they was they were dancing their ass off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't no other cat living up being the fake looking like a rapper, looking like an entertainer from like how the Memphis, how Ross and them looked at how good like now, nah, so it's like we just, you know, we were just a little bit behind, but now we at the table. We at the table. We at the table now, That's and true. you know, it's is is it's gonna be a whole lot easier for those who take it serious. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot. To make easier. some music. Oh, cause everybody looking at us. We yeah. You talking about taking it serious? Who do you see now upcoming that you see them as taking it serious? That you see that they can go. I mean. Being in a business as long as I'm you have, hard, I know I'm you can. I'm a hard see. critic. <laughs> oh, that's I know good. that. Yeah, I'm a hard no, but critic. That's good. So whoever you say, I'm going to take it as that's. I mean, the so I got, I got some, I got some cats that I deal with. I got a couple cats uh, that I'm doing some projects with, you know. But at the end of the day, we got. I, I don't speak. The work got to speak for itself. If you got to ask so me, then bro. You talking about something. I just had a guy to get in my DM say, I want to be on that show. Uh, I'm one of the best artists. I'm like, if you the best artist, you ain't, you, man, I tell you, you ain't got to tell nobody you the best artist. The city going to, uh, somebody going to tell me you the best artist. And that's my, my, my way of how I, I and I, I maybe it may be a little cruel to catch when I say that, like, but you know, the, the, your work go tell me about you. If, you know, if I didn't heard about you, if I got to ask about you, then I don't know about you. That's real. That's, That's real. True. So growing up, who was the person when you first start rapping that told you you gonna go? That they saw that potential in you. Oh, my grandmother. It was your grandmother? That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, yeah. Grandma gonna tell you too. Girl, I love grandmas, boy. They gonna tell you. They down with you, but they'll tell you the truth too. You my grandma was hard on me, man. She made me go back in that bathtub a few times. Man, I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna to tell you what. She didn't play with me. I'm gonna tell you the day before my grandmother died, cause she died ironically, cause she was just going for a regular little routine chick, and you know she was like, she called me. I was like, you cool, girl? She was like, yeah, I'm good. I was just thinking about you. I was just want to tell you, you go make it, baby. Aww. You just keep on. That's what you I'm talking make about. And you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand T was the first one, you know who. Who let me know? And my cut, and it was ironic because my cousin, she died from an aneurysm too, and I had just gave her one of my first CDs, and I was still wow. in high school. Wow! And she was like, "You keep on the cut, and I'm." And she died ironically, but you know, they they gave me that. Yeah, they let me know that. that was, so I, it ain't nothing really to deter me. Nah, nah. As you can see, I'm still knee deep in it. That's, That's what's up. Man. It ain't about the money. You it sure I mean? ain't about the money. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I seen the grind, man. This dude, I see it. Clout was like Corey was like, man, we couldn't keep up with him. Mm. We couldn't, we couldn't produce fast enough. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like that dude had Corey his own thing that. going, yeah, man. He He's like, we'll try to do something, but I couldn't. But see, it wasn't fair to him. That's what see, he told me. C was my guy. Like he, he before I was. I mean, cause I was rapping before C. Yeah, you know? I know. And then right. you know we got together. C turned me on to my car man, uh, Jamie. It was uh, his stepbrother. <laughs> so, Cor yeah, we were the first. He was like, bro, man, you getting all this money, Chief, man. You got to get you a ride, bro. You got to start getting you a fly ride. I got the people. And I'm like, man, how am I going to get some ride? I just got cash, man. Like, you know, I was, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, man, I got somebody. You don't have to worry about it. You, you just look out. pay your money. You don't got to sign nothing because, you know, I'm getting money, but I'm young. I don't know how to spend that's it. That's it. That's it. You know, I'm like, okay, I've been I ain't there. got, you know, my mama, we project. She ain't got yeah. no job, so I can't put, can't keep putting everything in her, her name, name, you know. Yeah. So, you know, he gave me my car, man, and, and we introduced me and Jamie. We turned the city upside down. <laughs> Man. I've never seen shit like it. You no, know? no. I was nah. on it. I, I was asking him a lot of questions. I the first we did two interviews. We had to re recant one, but but because Bishop died, right. uh, you know. But right. the thing I asked him in that first, and I never forget. I said, "How do you feel about Leo and being a white guy and and culture vulture and all that?" He answered it good too. He he a boy from he come from. Uh, Oak Cliff, and that was his background, and he was like, "I'm just going. I'm doing what I love," you know, and and. Been genuine since so many jewels through here. Right. Since he came through here, my my this whole thing, I say a lot of it is because he he called me just a while ago. He just gonna call me. 
can you do the uh, AT and T guy? Can you do? It? I'm like, yeah, because I'm an engineer. I can do. Yeah, right, right, send them right. on through. Well, I'm gonna talk that talk. I'm gonna, right. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna turn up a right. different way, you right. know, because that's what we do. We we deal with, you know, if you this way, when I see you, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna blend in. Facts. You know, what I'm and so right. and, and plus, I came from the streets, but I just evolved. People uh, don't. If we don't evolve, then something wrong. Yeah. If they start asking me to be the chief from 0607, then I don't need to be talking to you, player. Already. Nah, I can't be that cat. No. Quit asking about him. Yeah, he gone. Been gone. And ain't nothing you can do about it either because you can't get him back. No. Nah. I know because I'm looking back at mine. Ain't coming nah, back. I can't even be that young nigga. No. Nah, so nah. I wouldn't even try. So it's like those who stuck there, we leave them stuck there because if you ain't evolved with anybody that's evolved, they go love the person that I am. Already. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, I, I like I said, with all those, man, it's a lot of eat greedies, man. I it's know. a lot of volumes yeah. out there. And it's a lot of, it's a lot, it's a lot of yeah. uh, work. Just work, man. And, and you know, I do this. When I first started doing shit, for years I did it just so my kids, if something ever happened, they would have a place they could go and check me out. Right. I, I would always do certain things because of that. Because right. right. I know. And so I believe in that. You know what I mean? I told my partner, the one who got the place in L.A., I was like, look, man, he older cat. I'm like, you got to you gotta do something. Your son young, man. If something happened to you, you got to have some visuals, something he can go and look at you and he right. can draw from that. A lot of people don't think like that, Chief. Right. A lot of them, they're too busy, selfish. They're not thinking about the next generation. And and we got to think on that level. Big old facts. Yeah. Nah, big yeah, old A lot facts. of people don't. Nah. I mean, and, you know, hopefully eventually they will. Yeah, because this, this, they didn't have this technology. Man, you know, I lost my mom and she was 44 years old. I was 24 and uh, don't have nothing but a few pictures. You know what I mean? But we have an advantage now that we don't have to leave them like that. Facts. Nah, me and my me, me and my dad. Oh, so I got a little girl, but my, I'm the only child on my daddy's side. Correct. Nah, okay. I'm the only grandkid. Wow. It's just six of us. So mm -hmm. they gonna have something for you though. See, that's the. But listen, I don't got no cousins or nothing. <laughs> you don't have nobody. No, just I don't got, it's just and me and my daddy. My daddy, daddy from Mississippi, and wow. he went to L.A. So I ain't never seen him. He ain't never seen him. So. Me and him, it's just like, it's, he just shot me out, and it's just really just me and him on that one. Yeah. You know, like, but we ain't, and I come to grips with a lot of that shit. That's why, you know, I guess, you know, I'm okay with what I know I've been doing for mine. You oh, know, you the, did the, good. You know, so it's like, I know she, you know, she looking now. She gonna always see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this stuff ain't going nowhere, and at I all. know that. Nah, at all. So that's what I think people be sleeping on. What you got for them? I know you, she waiting, she braced up right there. Knowing the things you know right now from the business side, the music side, all of that, if you could go back and tell your 15-year-old self one thing just to make himself better at an earlier age, what would it be? Uh, don't talk too quick. So I talk a bullshit at a rapid pace. And back then, music was personal to me. Fuck business. It's personal. It's my life. I'm eating, sleep. Breeding this, so you know, I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 it ain't nothing no girl, nobody could do. Like, music would, music would stress me out. No, music would stress me out. You but know what I'm saying? It makes you happy too. Like, I would get in emotional about music. I'm emotionally detached from everything else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even, I'm cool. But when that music got involved, man, I'm, I would throw it away type shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I would I would let people know that I knew that they were full of it off the top when this is the entertainment game. Mm -hmm. It's not the real game. Yeah. And I always thought people should be real with me because I was keeping it real. You still keeping it real. But I had to kind of, that's what, that, it took me a while to get over that. Like, to be able to get past, like, man, this ain't about how real you are. Man, people going to only deal with you for what they, what, what you can bring to the table. Because I went from people not having nothing to say for me or fuck with me to where when it got on me and radio, oh, everybody and their mama was willing to do whatever I say. So it was like, you know, I just, on the, and on the musical side, like, I would just let them know that they would, I would tackle D, I like, you couldn't be doing no whole shit. Mm -hmm. Like, even though it probably would be an unseen, unwritten, read, unwritten rule, like, chief, you don't supposed to talk on that. Nah, you took my money, nigga, play me. <laughs> Real talk, but but that's that was just you know yeah, that yeah. was just I come from the streets. It's blood on that money. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And they thinking, you know, nah, it's I'm not, not the average young cat that I'ma just nah. I can tell and you. And you've grown from that. Well, I yeah, was the yeah. same way. Like when I first was selling clothes here fifteen years ago when me and Pow Wild did that deal on and we he, we made that expensive taste. That was his brand. And and I we was he I bought my clothes from him. And it was a good good amount of clothes. We spent three to five grand with him. But then six months later, we go back to Vegas, and he, I'm not doing it no more. I said, bro, you can't, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, once you do something or you or you come out with a brand, but in the industry, it's different, bro. They move different. Like, you can do that in the industry. That's what they do. I decided I'm not selling it no more. I'm over here with the famous group. But, but Crystal told me, that's his wife, he, he right. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm really telling him, like, that's in the streets. You couldn't, you couldn't do that. Nah, they. You so, see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a different yeah, code, yeah, man. Yeah. Nah, this is the entertainment game. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I realized. Nah, simply, you know. So I know how to deal with the fake love. It's nothing authentic. Real talk. It's nothing authentic. Only thing authentic is when the, the people that fuck with you, your, your fans. Your fans. All the big. Nah, it ain't authentic. Mm -mm. Nah, that's why they make you sign contracts and shit. No, nah, that's true. Because it ain't authentic. It ain't, it ain't authentic. Just, it's a contract. It's you know, I'm gonna do for you. You do, do for, for me. me. How, how did you and Jim Jones link up? And I know Jim Jones. You see him on that the was, wall. Uh, that was Me and my, my wife, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah, to him yeah, a lot. Yeah, that was through my guy James McMillan. Uh, my guy, I had an entertainment lawyer who I was dealing with back then. He from New York. Okay. He one of, he one of the main guys right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, he got YB Cardi. He got all the YB Indian cats. Okay. He got him signing him. But, you know, it was through him. So I was like, you know, I did the swag joint. Yeah. I already had it. And I was like, man, you know. I like that boy. He be on that, yeah. you know, he fly, you know. Yeah. So I was like, man, he was like, you know, I can get Jim on there. And this when he just had came yeah, out with the ball. ball and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and I was like, shit, make it happen. So, you know. I like Jim, man. Jim yeah. is up. Shout out to Jim Jones. Junebug. Yeah, I My partner's yeah. up there in New York. I rock with some cats. But nah, nah, these boys, like, come on, man. These boys, that, like. That was New York and Dallas. Yeah. Nobody ain't Nobody never ain't did done. that. I tried to make it happen, but somebody, and you know who you is, uh, you bagged down on me. I had Jada Kiss and all of them in the shoot. I, I know people, man. I don't know people from music. I know people from business. Right. So it's a totally different ball game for me, but I can make a phone call and right. say, let's do this. And they're going to be like, yeah, I rock with you because right. I've been, been supporting their clothing brand for 10 years, right. eight years. T.I., I've been selling the coup ever since 08. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you're going to see him 100 times on the wall with me because, hell, I've been spending right a lot right. of money, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's just the same. It's just it flipped on me. Yeah. I, you know, you've been in the streets. Now I'm I'm, right. I'm pushing this right. cotton, man. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so yeah. that's the way I'm yeah. putting that pressure on them. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Nah, you have to know pressure. how to swap it up, man. Facts. People Facts. don't, man. People don't know how to swap it up. You know, um, I definitely just appreciate you, man. Is this you? I'm gonna let, you got to get that top three. I got I one knew. more question. OK. That. All right. How do you feel about the evolution of the music industry coming from tapes to CDs? Now everything Soft, is on streaming. Yeah, streaming. Okay. Uh, how do you feel, and how easy was it for you to adjust to all of those changes? That's a good question. Oh, I, it ain't. It ain't been. It, <laughs> I'm I, still I, adjusting. I, I, as you can see, I haven't <laughs> did. I've been, you know, growing high. I've been growing for the last four and a half years because, you know, I kind of lost the. The know how to make money off of my music. I haven't transitioned to the 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 social media world yet. Because yeah, yeah. I, I'm too busy living in the real world. I like it. You know, I, my I've been living off of my government name. Everybody living off their username. So you know, I had been living off big my 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 alias name for a long time before everybody else. They just caught up. You know, I've been Big Chief, so it was like I had to put up Big Chief because Big Chief after he graduated. He went, he, Kayan got put up, and I've been living as Big Chief since I graduated, and that was, you know, a long period of time. And that's so crazy that you said that because. I know your whenever, question next. Yeah, because, <laughs> she asked no, me this. Because, I said, I don't know. Because when I'm researching, doing research on anybody that's sitting here, artists and so forth, I can find the first thing pop up is their government name and, <laughs> you know, their date of birth and all of that. And I'm searching you, and I'm like, all I'm seeing is Don Chief, Big Chief. Lucas, I'm like, okay, so what is his real name? I'm like, how old is he? And I'm searching, searching, searching. I'm like, yeah, I can't be find all man. of this information. But on anybody else, it's like I can find it like that easy. That means he ain't been rocking but with I'm it like, like that. Hold on. How? I mean, what you mean? How? how can I not find all of this information on you like super easy? I mean, easy? I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I mean, I live in the real world. Now, I live outside, not on the phone. So at the end of the day, 
I don't. I mean, you, you. I want you to see what I need you. What I want you what to you see. What you want me to see? You know, if you know my government name and no, you you will call me by my government name. You know, it like it's some people you know that don't know chief. You dig? But at the end that's of the day, that's what's up. Yeah, know, I see where you come from yeah, too. That's that's real. real. Yeah. You know, because it's just keeping everything where it's supposed to be. And I and I still ain't adjusted. I'm just now, like okay, I think I got it. I got it. That's the reason I became active in November. Because, I mean, I am who I am. I, you know, I told that's what I told Mr. Pookie the other day. I said, you know what, can't nobody stop you but you. You got a big name. If the if you want to go social media and go big, then you can go big as you want to go. It's free. So if you want to take it there, you you can say, hey, I'm Mr. Pookie. Everybody can't do that. Everybody can't say they, hey, I'm I'm done, Chief. You and there's money. There's accumulated funds behind that now. It's just you got to know how to articulate how to it. it. You got to know how to get to it. But when you say, so, you know, everybody's name ain't heavy. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, you have a name, but your name can only weigh so much. So much. And then what you going to do? You got to be creative. You got to be artistic. If you ain't creative, you, I mean. If you, you ain't, gotta, you, you got to have team, that. You, you get a team of people or a person around you who can help you do that. So you can utilize your name. Yeah. And to make money off of your name. Because everybody... The best jewel you have is knowing who you are and what you're capable of, but still knowing what you need. And if you know that you're not capable of what you need to do to, to make the money, yourself. you surround yourself with the people that you can trust, first of all, because that's the main thing, is having people that you can trust, because pe not everybody you can trust. Have that person around you to help you get what you need, because you're not that person. You know what I mean? So you can always achieve it. Just like you say, you're now getting up to date with you know social media and all of that. I love where I'm not up to date with everything. My kids can kids can do it <laughs> they like tough that, on that easy. Right. But what I love about social media is how transparent everybody has become. Meaning like I don't have to personally know you, but then I can feel like I know you through social media because you open up certain doors. You don't have to tell your whole biz business, but you let people in on certain things about your life. Mean you know your home or in your car, just what you're thinking, and they feel like man, I feel like that. He, he cool. Right, right. Not right. just because back in the days it was like, ooh, I like Slim Thug. But then when I meet him and he stands <laughs> off his show, he's that. this or he's that, then I'm like, oh, I don't like him. Right, right. Because you're in love with the persona of him till you yeah. actually meet it's, him in person and you're like, oh, no. So, but I think she met him at a bad time. So we you gotta we was at a bad time. You got to understand what I'm saying. So you just speak, speaking from an entertainment side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, you got to understand, you got some people who, you got six nine, probably like high years, but if you catch him offside of that camera, he probably talk like a little Mexican and all kind of stuff. So it's like sometimes you know people give you just what they want, right? So you know you might you might fall in love with the persona, and in in the real deal, Holyfield may not be none be the totally opposite of the persona. So it's like you gotta the person gotta know how they using that that site. You know what I mean? Like, so with me, it's strictly for business. It'll never be personal. I seen you at a car show, and you was, it was I don't know if that was your mama. It was like oh, about yeah. eight yeah. people with you. Like, yeah, this yeah. was in 09, oh, oh, 09. This was, and you walked through. It was a bunch of people there. Everybody was there. You know how they be at them car shows. Uh, and I said, man, she, it's just the way you carry yourself, you know. I'll check. I was like, man, that dude makes some good music, man. He, you know, I knew then you were special, you know, as far as the music go, entertainment go. You could sit in any crowd. See, a lot of people don't know how to enter that room. Right. Don't know how to stand on that right. stage. Right. You know, but I know that I got money on Big Chief. When, when, when Big Chief or Don Chief, whoever standing in there, I know you're going to be able right. to hold your own for Texas. I'm right. being real. I look at all that, bro. Right. I'm, I'm Even back then, I'm like, oh, yeah. Cause I have to stand in those places, you right. know what I mean. Right. And it's like my partner, my little underboss, he'd be like, "Man, I ain't never seen nobody handle them like you be handling them, man." You know, on business, you know, right. like I talk that talk when it come down to what I do. Like you, 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 you're an artist. And so when I say that, when I say you can accumulate funds, I look at people like Plies and all these people, man. They do what they do because of who they are. See, you special. It's something in you that if you say something. If you decide I want to do this and, and and be artistic about it, it's gonna go, right? Because it's who you are. Nah, I stand on and, and, and and people know from listening to the, all those volumes and doing. We already know. It's just okay. Whenever you're ready, we ready. 
That's the way I feel about it. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? No, no. I'm going to rock with you. Now. No, it's perfect timing. I seen that one you put out yesterday, that Gangsta Group, Gangsta mm -hmm. Group. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's nice, baby. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That one just come out. I like yeah, them yeah, kids yeah, on yeah, that, yeah, too. Just, just, I say I kids. Mean, I'm nah, old, man. No, nah, they, they kids. They, they, they younger than my nephew. Yeah, but they, 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 they yeah, trying to get yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, they moving. So at the end of the day, I'm cool with, you know, what I look at myself, I'm just a vessel. I'm the bridge, you know. And it's a toll fee to fuck with me. But I'm the bridge, though, you know, yeah. and I know I'm the only one that can connect it. Ain't no Pookie, no Lucci, no Tom, no Tuck, no none of them, because they not me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, That's you what know? you do. You got to nah, know that. Nah, they not me. So, you know, and I know to the streets what I am to the streets, like, just as a person. You know, from the entertainment side to the to the, to the the mud side, you yeah, dig? Like, yeah. I know I check out, and I know how, you know, my resume is stainless. You know, I ain't perfect, but I'm the perfect me. That's it, and we, and self awareness is everything, ain't it? Big old face, <laughs> nah, big old face. So it's I know, everything. I know it's. I gotta do it, and if it don't be done, it'll never be done. And you know, I'm just one. I'm just gonna bridge the gap. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's anything I can do on this platform, let me know. Let if it's somebody know. that you you know rocking with, you want to mm -hmm. push them through, let uh, me know. Big old face. I got a couple projects anyway. That, uh, yeah. So that it, I want to bring Kes Dye, Lil JJ through. You know, I want, you know, you because got, I, I got, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel, so, you feel me where nah, I'm coming? Big facts. So when we push him through, because nah. we growing numbers every day, and it's going to go, but because I'm going to be consistent. I'm right. going to put out good. Right. Go right. look at, you You see some of the visuals I put yeah, out? I don't be on the phone. I know it, but <laughs> I, I didn't even send him none either. You know, at least he might have hit the button. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Popped yeah, you got to send me some. I'm going to send you know, some. I mean, because yeah, I ain't going yeah. to search You ain't going to search for it. So if he sent it, you going to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it so you can just see it, the visual are nice yeah, man yeah. and we're trying to make it to where when you when you bring it out a project you want to you know the masses to see it right, right. It, it can it's gonna float and go through where you want it to go okay. you know what i mean because we're trying to make sure we get the right people on the right places and and you know like i say like guys like you making it happen uh who else like i said uh, uh that guy jock taylor he dallas cowboys for 97 journalism okay, okay. and who else who else there who oh just shannon briggs mm. people who are nah. gonna put them eyes on here yeah, see when they put them eyes on here then hey man you know then people can be seen and, and people can say you know what this platform is where you want to be so check it out man big chief one more know your top three that's what i'm gonna do okay go, go on and you, you go see ahead. how you did me she, she 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 jerked me back top three artists of all times man dead oh. or alive Pop. In, any, genre. any genre right pop pop, pop. He's, that's one number one you know uh I like Pac too. That's why I was watching like on that Teddy big one. Yeah, I like Teddy P too. It's like something Teddy that you. P, I bet you I know something you don't P? know. I ain't never had one of it, but I, I, I I'm old man. I'm old I, cat. I bro. mean because I, I like that nigga. I, yeah, Teddy P was so player. Like when you got the honeys, Holly. <laughs> when you got all the cats <laughs> saying they hate you. Yeah. You know it's something about you. Wow, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. I like it. No, nah, when you got all the dudes, oh man, I don't like that. I don't like that nigga. I don't like <laughs> nah, that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and and you know, so I I I, I bought into Teddy P. Teddy looked P. at his doc, uh -huh. you know, in uh He did his thing. Uh, you know, Pac Teddy, you know. And, Who that last number one? Three. Uh I mean Pac Pimp gone, so he got you know gotta he got to be, be in there. Ah, that's my guy right there. Wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, man. That's all you I need UK right UK there. Influence. That's right, on, man. man. I try to tell these yeah, cats. See, he UK listening. Influence. He got yeah. an ear. No, no. Why okay. you turning your face yeah, up yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pimp. got an ear. I mean, I mean, and it ain't even about what the the. I mean, pimp it, educate him. I ain't gonna do him a setback. It's more or less pimp gave you the entertainer. His voice, we got, we both got two distinct with voice. You ain't gonna never hear nobody sound like us. That's what we were talking about. You know what I mean? So you ain't gonna. Then I the, said in, yes, in the delivery, did. you gotta understand that I like cockiness. <laughs> so you know when you you got, you got a nigga talking shit, squatting speed, you know like that's what I like. So you know it wasn't just about you know his rap. You know he ain't you know but the cut he he told a life, the lifestyle that you know people such as myself live and myself. Yeah, he told a life, so I can resonate with him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a New it. York cat probably won't be able to resonate never. with me. No. He don't know what you done went through and how you got through it. Nah, but I know, you know, but nah, nah. So, nah, pimped one. I but, can promise you that. You know, but Pac was the, you know, he the pinnacle to me. Because right. Pac had young, old girls, Everybody. boy. You know, he made all around. You know, he was just, you know, split personality like he is, but you, that's what's his music. He hit every goddamn thing. Everything. Mm, that's man. true. Yeah, nah, that's true. nah, nah. He had the South rocking with him. 
be a towel. No, nah, we didn't. We weren't on Biggie. No, no, we wasn't. We I, wasn't. I was a Tupac fan. Yeah, Pac. I wasn't. You can't Biggie. be nothing but. As much as Biggie was a descendant from Jamaica. I ain't I know that. Was, of course, yeah, everybody yeah. knows I ain't know that. that. Everybody knows that. Oh, but yeah, I mom, kidding. I seen the movie. Right. You know what I'm talking <laughs> Although that, I still was a Tupac fan. Of course, because he dropped all he dropped he dropped some serious notes when he did it, and he and he loved his people, and he put it out there in that way, and he made it to where you had to understand that he was saying it, and he meant it from his he heart, it. He meant it. and that's what you don't get from a lot of people. You you can rap, you know, but when you saying something and you doing it from your heart, and then you hear, hey man, he stopped what he was doing to go over here and check on a kid that's in the hospital just mm -hmm. off the out the blue. You don't hear nobody doing that, man. Okay. These cats don't care about nobody no more. Not like that. You won't hear about that. So you have your Tupac, you have your Teddy P, and then you have Pimp C. Don't don't act like you forgot. You know what I'm <laughs> Thank you so yes. much, man, for coming on the show, man. We love you. Won't we, be the last. Won't be the last. Yeah, we, and we wish you much success. And like I said, anytime you need to come through here, you say, E man, I got somebody I want to send your way, and I, I know it's certified I, I got, by you. I got some stuff for you because I got my own shoe coming. I got uh, we. I just be hush hush because I don't count. Nah, I got whatever the you need. When lights coming, so when is it coming? Gonna, uh, we should. I got the mockers. I should have my fur prayer probably next week. Um, so, uh, if there's anything I can help you with on that, let me know. Oh, it's gonna be something that you'll want to carry. So I'm yeah, gonna just, I you put know, I put it up. Nah, it's nah, this some you know high quality. I don't, I'm gonna Big have it, I'm, and I'm gonna find who need it. Oh, That's what gonna, a hustler do. Oh, they they yeah, go they go want. They got to break bread. They got to break oh. bread now. The price is the price. What the price? Right. Big old facts. Okay. Well, nah, I mean, check this out. But you buy quality. The price is what I pay. So if you want to rock my way, then you ain't tripping. If you want to goddamn me rock these vines like this, then you, <laughs> you know, you go be in some exclusives, quality, you know, and you go be fucking with the dumb. Already, okay. man. Thank you so much, Where can man. Where people find you on social media? Yeah, uh, to check that's you it. Uh, Dun Chief EGB. That's all me. Uh, I do got another page, uh, Dun Chief, aka Big Chief, but I got, I had got Cyber Bullet, but I'm back. Uh, Dun Chief EGB, and mm. that, that pretty much gets you access to me. Man, I ain't gonna lie, when I I, I followed Don, I was What's like, I gotta get, I, I need this guy. And he followed me right back. Man, you a real one, dog. Yeah. I'm talking about, oh, yeah, what, yeah. no problem. You like, boom. And then I said, I need you on the show. You like, okay, give me your number. But you didn't never hit me back. Then I hit Corey. I was like, okay, I gotta get done on here. Man, That's the I only mean, way this I thing rock, I get man. a bowl of I know you get them. I be, I be moving and grooving. I wasn't gonna I stop. Moving, but like, uh, you know when I when certain people put in it just I got off energy. Yeah, I, I I simply move off energy. I may look at a message and won't even answer. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But I may look at something and be like, what's happening? You know what Already, man. Like I just go off of energy because that's, that's just how I move. You know, yeah. I don't I don't really trip question nothing. It just if the energy if we connect then yeah. it was meant. Man, I thank God for it, bro. Real talk, mm -hmm. and I appreciate you for coming on the platform, nah, man. Nah. And it wasn't wasn't no hard thing. The brother pulled up on us, blessed our game, man. We just exactly. coming in uh, January. Uh, we started back up, and because of the, the a COVID right. thing, kind of slowed everything down. I said in January we're gonna start. We've been full fledged. God been good to us, man. All the time. Yeah, and 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 I think, like I said, when you ready to check back in and say, "Hey, E man, I got these shoes. I'm ready, man." No, nah, them boys hard. <laughs> I believe it. Nah, them boys hard. You know, it's, we go, we go rock out. It's gonna be fun. You like when you see them. I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't it's posted gonna, it, it or nothing. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I already know if I post, they gonna be in my inbox. Like you know, give me them. So it's yeah, going I, down. I got some, but I see you got the setup. I'm gonna make sure, make yeah, sure I got it in here. Say, man, boss talk one on one, man. And we out. Sachi.